Hi and welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm doing going to do a comparison between Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 and Moto E second generation. But does anyone remember Motorola Moto E second generation? I think I forgot it. Yeah, that's the case. I have not seen this smartphone in the hands of the people. I think this uh, smartphone just lost its touch with the public. Uh, it was a case that everyone wanted the smartphone. I, I mean, everyone wanted Moto E third, second generation or Moto E first generation uh, last year. But I think with time, the uh, the uh, the uh, popularity of the Moto E second generation has dropped. I think it has fallen. Now, this is not what I actually, uh, I know uh, the popularity is also important for a smartphone. What happened to this Moto E2 second generation? Are you still interested in it? That's the different question. But I looked at Google, actually I searched for it and there were people searching for Moto E second generation and the Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 and that is the reason I am making this video because there are people who are still showing interest in this. So here let us get ahead and start uh, with the comparison so a motorola moto e third second generation is not that great smartphone i know it gets a lot of new updates automatically it is good in every aspect when it comes to getting updates uh, from the android directly but this smartphone is way thick to handle in fact it is way heavy to handle if you keep this smartphone in your pocket trust me this uh, you, your pocket is going to get torn off it is going to get have a hole and it's like uh, money has fallen from your uh, pocket but anyways uh, this smartphone is thick this smartphone is heavy uh, this smartphone is small in this that case also uh, so there are a lot of things that uh, fall short when you compare it with the Samsung Galaxy uh, J3 2016. In fact, I think that this smartphone is already of the age of Adam and Eve. That's what I feel personally. So anyways, uh, if you look at the performance, yes, of course, the performance of uh, the Motorola Moto E second generation is matchable with the performance of Samsung Galaxy J3 2016. That is the, the one place where the performance of these two smartphones are neck to neck. Otherwise, the performance of uh, the uh, Motorola Moto E was best when it was launched, but right now it is neck to neck with Samsung Galaxy J3 2016. It, the performance of Samsung Galaxy 2016 could have been better if they had provided at least 0.5 MB GB of RAM more, but anyways, it's still neck to neck. In every other aspect, Samsung Galaxy J3 2016 is a winner. It's a winner in battery backup of course otherwise the battery of the Moto e, e second generation just drops uh, like uh, i uh, don't know what to uh, compare with i think uh, water falling from a bucket when you turn the bucket upside down that's what i can come up with anyways so the battery drains a lot when you use the motorola moto e second generation and to charge it takes like ages i mean i remember charging that smartphone for five to six hours every day just to make it run all day it used to drop that fast and the small size of course it is pretty annoying in samsung galaxy j3 of course you are getting good size you are getting good uh, display you are getting everything everything battery you are getting battery you are getting performance you are getting a uh, good camera but one thing that you are not getting in samsung galaxy j3 and you are getting in motorola moto e second generation is the gorilla glass protection which you can overcome easily by installing tempered glass on the samsung galaxy j3 2016 so if you have to choose between these two smartphones if you are really interested in that because i have seen i have searched on google and there are people interested uh, to see which one to buy between these two smartphones if you are actually searching for that then i would recommend going with the samsung galaxy j3 2016 because it is a good smartphone but if you do not have a budget and you think that uh, the Motorola Moto E second generation fits your budget then I would recommend another smartphone that smartphone would be the Lenovo A5000 or I would recommend yet another smartphone which would be Lenovo Vibe K5 Plus if you do not have budget even for that then I would recommend another smartphone that is Lenovo Vibe K5 you can pick up Lenovo Vibe K5 because the price is similar to the price of Moto E second generation so this is it guys the samsung galaxy j3 2016 is my choice when you when i compare it between these two smartphones i hope this video was informative thanks for watching we will meet next time in another video